and welcome to class. There are no props required for today's flow, so whenever you have your mat and your space to practice, go ahead and meet me in Tadasana at the top of your mat. So as you're coming into your space, go ahead and find some weight shifts right away. Taking this opportunity to find a sense of grounding. Feeling that connection between the soles of your feet onto the mat, into the earth. And using the sway of those weight shifts to explore all four corners. Slowly turning on all the muscles within the legs that are gonna help us feel nice and supported. And then just take this opportunity to clear the mind, shake anything off from your day, whether it's physically, mentally. Take this opportunity to let it go. This short flow is an opportunity to get right into your body might not be ready to move for very long, but you know that your body needs some movement, could benefit from some opening, some clearance of some energy. So that's what this class is for. So go ahead and soften the gaze, maybe you close the eyes. And as you do that, slowly make those weight shifts, those sways a little bit smaller until you find your nice, steady, strong Tadasana. Feet can be hip width apart, they can be a little bit wider, whatever makes you feel strong and stable. Maybe they roll the shoulders up, back and down, really ground those shoulder blades against the rib cage, reaching the fingertips down towards the floor, feeling really pr proud and open in your stance, in your stability here. Reaching through the crown of the head, making yourself as long and tall as you physically can. As you ground down those feet into the earth, maybe find a gentle grip of the big toe into the floor as you lift through the inner arches. Like you are truly anchored in this space. Two deep breaths, deep inhale, feel the entirety of the lungs of rib cage really fill up. And then open the mouth, exhale. See how the lips deep inhale. Open the mouth, exhale. On your next inhale, you can blink the eyes open as you sweep the arms up and overhead. Reach those fingertips up towards the sky. And then exhale, cactus the arms, drive the elbows down, open the chest. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, arms up overhead. Grab hold of that left wrist at the top, really reach those fingertips up nice and tall. And then exhale, side body stretch over towards the right, soft bend in the knees to help get you into that space. And then go ahead and curtsy the left leg behind the right, really extend into that opening. Through the hip, through the rib cage, through that left armpit. Inhale up through center. Grab hold of that opposite wrist. And then on the exhale, side by stretch over towards the left. Soft bend in the knees to help explore a little bit deeper space. And then curtsy that right leg behind the left. Further that opening. Inhale up through center. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And then exhale, soft bend to the knees, slowly start to hinge at the hips. So we're finding length within the back line of the legs as you forward fold. Finding that halfway lift, halfway through and pausing. Engage through the back line of the body. Like you're making an upside down L, making a seven shape. Really hinge at those hips, reaching those sit bones back behind you. And then exhale, fold all the way down. Allow length to come into the space along the spine as the head falls heavy. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Use those fingertips to support you, whether they're on the floor, on your shin. Find length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Drive those shoulder blades down the back body as the shoulders come away from the ears. Exhale, hands plant. Set the left foot back. The right foot back, pause in your high plank. Feel that integration, that engagement, that strength as you're now grounding through the heels of the hands. Gentle grip through the fingers. Feeling that strength all the way through the shoulders. That lift of the belly in towards the spine. Reaching the heels towards the back of the mat. Lift it through the backs of the knees. And then soften the knees, snake the body back, lift the hips down and face and down. We'll find a few spinal waves here. Inhale, high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Hover those knees from the mat. And then on the inhale, lift the hips up towards the sky and ripple that energy forward. Lifting through the low belly, doming through the back body. Unraveling in high plank. Pause and integrate. Bend the knees, lift the hips up towards the sky. Send your hips up and back down, facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, heels lift, lift. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. And then go ahead and ripple that energy all the way up towards the top of the mat, nice and slow. Pausing in that high plank when you get there. And then bend the knees, send the hips back. Downward facing dog. Try and find a little bit more movement, more space each round. Two more rounds here. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, gaze forward, knees, shins to a hover. And then send that energy forward as you lift the hips. Lift the low belly, dome through the upper back. Pause that high plank. And then send your hips back. Reversing your movement. Downward facing dog. One more round, inhale, heels lift. Exhale, gaze forward, bend the knees. Ripple that energy towards the top of the mat. High plank, pause. Feel free to take a push-up or two. Here, build some energy in the upper body. And then soft bend the knees. Lift the hips down, facing dog. Take a breath here. Maybe pedal the feet one at a time. Bump the hips left to right. Before you settle in. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, soft bend in the left knee. Drive that right knee forward to bring the right foot outside the right hand. Pause in that low lunge. Lift the chest forward. Use the palms of the hands to help find that lift and create space. Drop the back knee. Inhale, right leg, arm lifts up towards the sky as you spin the chest. Twisted lizard lunge. Feel that twist through the belly. Keep that lift through the palm of the left hand. Close it off. Right hand plants. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Send the hips back in space. Extend the pyramid pose. Right foot can stay grounded or those right toes can lift whatever feels good. Keep reaching that tailbone back behind you and using that length all the way through the spine, through the crown of the head. Ground that right foot. Bend in that right knee. Step or two to bring the right left foot outside the left hand. Inhale, active squat. Sit the hips low. Reach those hands forward. Gentle press the knees out and open to leave room for your hips to sink a little bit lower. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Press to stand. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Stretch the front body. Exhale, sit low. Inhale, hands plant. Step the left foot back. The right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, soft bend in that right knee to help drive that left knee forward. Left foot outside, left hand. Sink the hips low as you drive that right heel back in space. Hips fall heavy, chest stays lifted. Drop the back knee, plant that right hand. Inhale, left arm up and overhead as you spin the chest towards the left. Stay lifted, feel that twist through the belly. 
Keeping that right hip nice and heavy. Exhale, hands come back down. Lift the back knee. Send the hips back, straighten-ish through that left leg. Extend pyramid pose. Left toes can stay grounded or lifted. Reaching that left hip back in space. Pulling the chest and heart forward. Ground down through that left foot. Step or two, right foot comes outside, right hand. Inhale, sit low in that nice and active squat. Really push those knees out open wide as you lower those hips down. Still engage that low belly, nice and supportive. Exhale, press to stand, hands to heart center, to Tadasana. Inhale, upward salute, reach those arms up overhead. Exhale, sit low, hands to heart center. Come back into that active squat. Inhale, hands plant. Step the right foot back, the left foot back. Soft bend in the knees this time as you ripple that spine back. Those hips back into downward facing dog. One more round each time. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right foot's coming outside the right hand. Really find that drive in the knee, that activation to help get you there. Pause in that lunge. Drive that left heel back. Drop the back knee. Plant the left hand. Right hand opens up towards the sky, twisted lizard lunge. Really twist through that belly, find that space. Exhale, hand comes down. Lift the back knee, send the hips back, extend the pyramid pose. Find that length in your body. Plant that right foot, bend back into that right knee. Step or two, left foot comes outside, left hand. Inhale, active squat, turn those legs on, sit those hips low. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Come to stand. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, hands come back to heart center, active squat. Inhale, hands plant. Step the left foot back, the right foot back. Feel free to find that spinal wave, a little bit more creativity as you find your way back into downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left foot, outside left hand. Plant it there. Drive that right heel back as you sink those hips nice and low. Belly's lifted, chest is lifted. Drop the back knee, plant that right hand. Inhale, left arm up and overhead as you twist the belly. Left fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, left hand comes back towards the mat. Back knee lifts, send the hips back, extend the pyramid pose. If your, left, if your feet were, that front foot was staying grounded, maybe find a lift here. Explore that change in sensation. Left foot plants, separate two, right foot outside, right hand. Inhale, active squat, sit low. Exhale, hands come to heart center, press to stand. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, active squat. Inhale, hands plant, set the right foot back. The left foot back. Spinal wave back, downward facing dog, nice, slow, ripple your way there. You can find a breath or two. Now we're going to find our awakening Surya 8. So we're going to find, let's try for five rounds here. We're going to find a few vinyasas. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Step, pop, or float, feet outside, hands. Inhale, find that active squat. Exhale, hands come to heart center, press to stand. Inhale, arms up overhead. Stretch it out. Exhale, hips sit low. Inhale, hands plant, step, hop, or float to high plank. Take your variation of a push up. Drop the knees, sit the hips back, gaze forward. Plant the forearms, pull the body through. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, find that nice creative little spinal wave back into downward facing dog. Four more rounds, same exact thing. Take your variation, that feels good. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Step, hop, or float. Feet outside, hands. Inhale, active squat. Exhale, press to stand. Inhale, arms reach up. Press those hips forward, really open up through the front body. Exhale, hips sit low. 
Inhale, hands plant, step hop or float, high plank. Take your push up, drop the knees, sit the hips back. Gaze forward, pull through, upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right into that next round, keep on flowing, inhale, heels lift. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward, step hop or float. Feet outside, hands, inhale, active squat. Exhale, press to stand, really active in the legs. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, sit low, active squat. Inhale, hands plant, step back. Push up. Drop the knees, sit back. Pull the body through, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, two more rounds. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward, step up or float. Maybe change it up this time. Inhale, active squat. Exhale, press to stand. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, sit low. Inhale, hands clean. Step up or float. Push up. A variation that feels good. Drop the knees, sit back. Gaze forward. Pull through. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Take a breath or so. Just to get that heart rate up just a little bit. Find some ritualistic movement, some repetition. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right foot comes outside, right hand. Pause in that lunge. Drop the back knee. Plant the left hand. Open the body up towards the right, right hand lifts. Stay here or kick that left heel towards your bottom. Really keep spinning through that right hand, that top hand, as you grab hold of that left foot, that left ankle. And using that connection to open your chest just a little bit further. Maybe gazing back behind you over top that right shoulder. Let go of that hold. Right hand comes back to move the left. Tuck those back toes, lift the back knee, send the hips back, extend the pyramid pose. Keep lifting through or reaching through that right hip. And then go ahead and drop the back heel down as the right big toe grounds down. You're going to find a wide-legged forward fold on the, facing the left edge of the mat. And feel free to adjust your stance. Maybe your feet were a little staggered coming into that space. Maybe you want to change the width, the length. Staying grounded through the outer blade, lifted through the inner edge, the inner arch of that foot. Keep lifting through those sit bones as the chest falls towards the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Feel that back body engage as those sit bones are still reaching back in space. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and start to walk the hands back towards the top of the mat. Spin those right toes back towards the front edge as the left heel lifts. Coming into that low lunge. Lift the chest as the left heel falls heavy. And then press through the hands, right foot meets the left. Soft bend in the knees, ripple that spine, those hips back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, exhale, left foot outside, left hand. Find that drive, find that connection. Low lunge through the pause, drive the right heel, hips and heavy. And then drop the back knee, right hand plants. Spin, peel that left arm up towards the sky. Feel that twist. Stay here, 
or kick the right heel towards your bottom, keeps reaching those left fingertips back. Maybe that connection happens between left hand, left ankle. Keep pressing through the heel of the right hand to keep this twist accessible, spacious, open. Maybe easing over that left shoulder if that's available. Go ahead and release your hold. Left hand comes back to meet the right. Lift the back knee. Send the hips back. Extend the pyramid pose. Keep reaching through that tailbone, that left sit bone to help square off the hips. Chest reaches forward. And then spin the right heel down as the left big toes ground. Find a wide-legged forward fold towards the right edge of the back. Again, make your adjustments as you need to find a comfortable stance. And then go ahead and grab hold of the outer blade of the feet this time. I didn't cue any particular hold last time around, just finding heaviness and traction within the spine with the use of gravity. So if you'd like to find a hold this time around, And as you use that connection to bring the crown of the head closer to the floor, you're still reaching those sit bones, that tailbone up towards the sky, keeping the shoulders down and away from your ears. Find three breaths. Go ahead and release your hold. The inhale, halfway lift. And then go ahead and find your way towards the top of the mat. Spin onto the toes so that they face forward. Hands come inside that left foot. You pause. Left foot comes back to meet the right. Soft bend in the knees. Ripple the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Then go ahead and drop the knees. Cross the ankles, hips come to heels. Roll over the ankles. We're gonna find our way down onto our backs. Hook the hands behind the thighs, slowly, with control. Lower the spine all the way down. Heels come in towards the bottom, arms alongside the body. Scoop the tailbone underneath you as you lift the hips. Soft bridge pose. Nothing big, nothing extensive. Just a little engagement of the back of the body, opening the front of the hips. Exhale over. Three more rounds. Inhale, lift, scoop and lift. Exhale over. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and hold. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Knees come in towards the chest. Grab hold of big toes with key fingers or outer blades of the feet. Come into happy baby. And then just come into a soft rock side to side. Maybe playing with bending and straightening the knees, the, get a little bit deeper into the back line of legs. Don't make it anything more or less than it needs to be here in this moment. Keep it easy, keep it soft, keep it feel good. Then go ahead, bring the feet back down towards the earth. Two final options for our final rest. You can wiggle the feet wide, allow the knees to come together to touch, arms alongside your body, or you can come into a full Shavasana, finding more of a front 
an opening within the front line of the hips, whatever feels good. If something else is calling to you more specifically, go there. Don't restrict yourself from what feels necessary here in this moment. The main purpose or focus of this class was to get yourself onto your mat. Find some movement, maybe break a little bit of the sweat. But just a way to show up to your mat, to show up for yourself, your body. A way to help clear the mind and get right in, and getting right into movement. Creating space and energy. Or maybe not even creating energy, just moving energy throughout the body. But know that wherever you chose to be here for your final breaths, here in class, that you're able to set yourself up to completely let go, to surrender into your space. Wherever you chose to be, go ahead and hang out here for at least five to 10 more breaths, really settle into your space and give yourself a few extra moments before jumping back into your day. As always, I thank you so much for coming here to practice with me and I look forward to seeing y'all next time. Namaste.